Welcome. Come to the top of the mat and find Tadasan, bringing the hands to prayer at heart center. Taking a few deep breaths and to lace the fingers behind you, broaden through the shoulders and the spine and exhale, fold forwards. Opening through the hamstrings, press the fingers along the floor, lift high to the sky and exhale, fold. Hands to the earth, look forwards and step your way back to a plank position. Lower the knees to the floor and exhale, three half planks here, bringing strength to the body as you make your way back to downward facing dog. Inhale with the breath, move forwards to plank, exhale, downward dog. Inhale, plank, exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank, exhale, down dog. Bending into the knees, baby jumps to the top of the mat. Inhale to lengthen and exhale, fold. Brush the fingers, lift the arms high to the sky and exhale, fold. Hands to the shins, inhale to lengthen. Exhale, plant the hands, find a plank position. Lower slowly to the earth. Inhale to cobra, exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra, exhale, lower. Inhale again, exhale, return to the floor. Tuck the toes under. Come back to all fours. Inhale, up cat, exhale, down cat. Inhale, broaden through the collarbones. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, look up. Exhale, rounding. Tuck the toes under. And walk the hands out in front. Find downward facing dog. Bend the knees, step or jump to the top of the mat. Inhale to lengthen and exhale, fold. Brush, reach, hands to fold forwards again. Lengthen the spine. Exhale, return. Dip your right leg to the back of the mat. Plant the right hand, lift left arm to the sky. Easy twist. Return the hand, look forwards. We're going to hop switch the legs here. Plant the left hand, right arm to the sky. Breathe it in. And exhale, return the gaze, return hand, hop switch once again. Step back to a plank, chaturanga. Modified with the knees or straight legs. Lower slowly. And peel back. Via knees to downward facing dog. Right leg to the sky and inhale. Bend at the knee, open through the hip. Exhale, knee to the chin. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, draw it in again. But this time plant the foot to the floor. Inhale, warrior one. Arms to the sky. Start to draw yourself forward for arrowhead. Get the navel off the thigh, draw it in towards the spine. And then reach the fingertips all the way back out behind you. Interlacing the fingers, fold forwards, humble warrior. Releasing through the shoulders, draw the crown of the head towards the floor. Inhale, find warrior two. Reposition back foot parallel to back edge of the mat. Left hand to the thigh, right arm to the sky, reverse warrior. Lean forwards, forearm to thigh. Left arm overhead, extended side angle pose. Return to warrior two. Windmill the hands, frame the right foot. Choose to step back and come through chaturanga or meet in downward facing dog. Left leg high to the sky, bend the knee, open through the hip and exhale, step the foot, draw the knee towards the chin in a plank position, lift the leg high to the sky again and then exhale, draw it through, plant the foot, lifting high, 
warrior one. Draw the navel in, tailbone draws toward the earth. Steady focus, steady practice. Lengthen the arms overhead as you start to fold forwards, arrowhead. Reach the hands behind you, strengthening through the arms. Energy through the fingertips and then interlace the fingers towards each other. Fold forwards, humble warrior. Reverse your warrior as you windmill the arms up. Bring the right hand to the thigh and the left arm towards the sky. Coming to side angle pose, left forearm to thigh, right arm overhead extended. Side angle pose, warrior two. Reach through the fingertips, windmill, step back, either come through your chaturanga again or downward facing dog. From here, lower the forearms to the floor. This dolphin, we're moving to three rounds of dolphin plank, forwards on your inhale and backwards on your exhale. Inhale, keep the hips in line with the shoulders. Exhale, back. And lower the knees to the floor. Hips stay over the knees, lower the chest, and walk the arms all the way out in front. Melting heart pose. Return the hands beneath the shoulders and start to find your own little flow here, drawing the hips from side to side. A flowing sequence. Opening through the hips, finding puppy pose before tucking the toes under and returning to downward facing dog. Glide forwards to a high plank, coming to your right hand for side plank, stacking the feet, left arm high to the sky, use the core to lift the hips, one last breath before exhaling, returning to plank swapping sides. Feel and know that the body is strong, for the mind will also be strong. Return to plank, downward facing dog. And just practice a couple of jumps here. Use the strength in the arms and the core, draw the heels up towards the sit bones. And then when you're ready, make your way to the top of the mat. Inhale to lengthen and exhale, fold, clasp the elbows. Brush the fingers along the earth, find a chair pose, elbows wide, open through the chest. Exhale, wrap the arms in front of you. Two more, inhale, open, exhale, fold. And then tilt toward the legs, inhale and lengthen the spine, exhale. Right leg steps back, easy twist open. Thighs drawing towards one another. When you're ready, warrior two, by grounding the back right foot to the floor, palms face the sky, opening through the shoulders. Right hand to thigh, left arm high, reversed warrior. Go ahead, windmill the hands and step back. Hop switch. Left hand to the floor this time, right arm to the sky. Couple more breaths. When you're ready, windmill the arms up to warrior two. Turn the palms to face the sky. Reverse your warrior, left hand to thigh, right arm high. Windmill the hands, hop switch. Step to plank. Vinyasa, find your flow, downward dog. Slowly lower yourself back down towards the floor, 
Interlace the fingers behind you. Locust pose, shoulder opening variation. Lifting the legs off the earth. Restore by bringing the forearms beneath the forehead. If you'd like to add on, this time perhaps coming into bow pose, fold the legs, reach the hands for the top of the feet, lift the chest off the floor, shoulders draw back, steady gaze, forehead smooth before bringing it to the forearms again on the earth. Optional, second round, folding the legs, hands to the feet, listening to the body, renewing when you need to, restoring, We're working into wild thing from here, left leg folds towards you, right hand beneath the shoulder, right leg stays straight, make your way back to the floor for the opposite side. Right knee folds in, right ball of the foot behind you, whole body stays straight, left leg long and flex through the foot, returning to the earth for puppy pose. We work into thread the needle pose, so lift your left arm towards the sky, and then reach it all the way beneath you and lower yourself down onto the shoulder, right arm lifting overhead to the earth. Returning to all fours for the opposite side, right arm lifts high, reach it through as you exhale, every breath drawing the chest towards the sky. Return to downward dog, right leg towards the sky, three-legged dog with the option of Flipping your dog into wild thing here. Exit, three-legged dog, downward dog. Left leg high to the sky, bend the knee. Stay here in three-legged dog, or drop the ball of the foot into the floor. Right leg long. Wild thing, return, three-legged dog. Downward facing dog. Inhale to a plank. And then exhale and take the right arm out wide and fold your left leg in towards you and roll now giving the right shoulder a chance to open after all that strengthening swapping sides when you're ready left arm out long right leg draws in and over right hand supporting your practice Find your way back to puppy pose, restoring balance in the body, really filling the body with the breath, making our way to a comfortable seat and then lowering gently down to the earth, lifting the legs sky high for shoulder stand. Remember, shoulder stand is a shoulder strengthening pose. Weight into the shoulders, elbows in line with shoulders, hands supporting the spine, engage the legs. A few breaths here before working into your counter pose. A plow where we bring the knees to the face or the toes to the floor. Staying here, supporting the practice with the hands or releasing them and interlacing the fingers. Perhaps reaching the fingers to the toes and then your own time, slowly rolling back down to the earth. Crossing your right leg over the left. And taking a twist by taking the arms out wide and your gaze to the right. Reclined twists. And beautiful for the digestive system, 
especially after turning upside down. Coming to the opposite side in your own time. Return the gaze, return the legs. And get yourself comfortable now for meditation. Feel the body long. Notice the connection to the earth beneath you. Face soft. Shoulders relax. Palms face the sky. Feet roll away from the body. Allowing every part of your body to rest, healing and restoring now, nurturing and renewing. Soften the jaw. Inhale, feel the belly rise and exhale, let it fall. Any passing thoughts? Drift away, just be.